Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to add chapter markers to your YouTube videos to make it a lot easier for people to find different parts inside of your video. I'm gonna show you as I upload today's video. I'm gonna press select file and upload today's video. And here, while the video is uploading, I'm going to do the usual thing. So I'm gonna upload my custom thumbnail, add it to the playlist, and then come down here and add my tags using TubeBuddy here. And this is the way I basically rank my videos on the first page of YouTube. So if you don't have TubeBuddy, I'll put a link to it in the description below so you could go ahead and get the right tags for your videos and see where they're going to rank in search. Let me come to the top in descriptions and to add chapter markers, it's really actually easy to do. All you have to do is put the time of when you want a chapter to start. So for example, Right in the beginning, if I type in 00 and colons 00, this is the start of my video. And then I know from when I edited the video, I took this note that at 1 minute and 27 seconds, I'm going to show you how to create Facebook account. And I know at 2 minutes and 30 seconds, I'm going to show you something else. And at 4 minutes and 50 seconds, I'm going to show you something else. And these are going to be clickable and they're going to create chapter markers. But I've already done this when I edited the video. So I just need to paste that section over here. So I already copied it. I'm just going to paste all my descriptions that I already wrote before. And if I come down over here, you could see that all of them are over here. These are all going to be individual chapter markers inside of my video. And in the description too, people could click these, these will turn blue and people could click them and jump into that part of the video too. Okay, so I finished adding everything here. I'm gonna press next to show you. I'll turn on monetization. If you have it, you could do the same. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my end screen template. Again, I use TubeBuddy for this option. So I'll go ahead and apply that. I'll go to the next page and I'll just leave it unlisted for now to show you what the chapter markers look like. Now I just jumped back in the video. Let me go ahead and click the link here to play it. Look right here. You see these breakpoints as I go through and each of them as I scroll through have a different chapter name. That's from putting it over here in my description. So these time codes and descriptions basically create these chapter markers up here. I could see all of them as I go through this video and they all have a nice breakpoint so people could easily jump into the beginning of each one or they could click on any one of these blue time codes here to jump into that section. Now, if you already uploaded your video and you haven't done this, all you have to do is go to that video or inside of Creator Studio, press edit video. And once you jump into the video, this is all you have to add to the video. Basically find out the start point of each chapter, give those chapters a name and add that section to the description and YouTube will take care of the chapter creation for you. And if you're using your mobile app to upload this, you would do the same exact thing. You would just put this in the description inside of the YouTube app. And it's that easy to create chapter markers inside of YouTube. Now, if you want to learn how I got millions of views on YouTube, I do have a checklist that I created for my subscribers. And I'm going to put that in the description below the video so you could download the checklist. So every time you upload the video, you follow the process step by step. Thanks so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow social media videos. And I'll see you next time.